Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super excited about this week's episode of Quarantine with Quinn. Yes, thank you so much for joining me. I am always excited to see your lovely faces and hear your comments. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go to quinnconyers.com and check me out. And for those of you who are brand new to the tribe, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you. We're almost at 800 members, y'all, like literally 800 Black women who are serious about their business, but also passionate about public speaking. So if you are a Black woman who is in business and you know that you want to profit from public speaking on or offline, you are in the right place. Make sure that you head on over to the Speak Black Woman Facebook group. And that is where we have some fun times that the, the guys can't get in. So if you are new, I want you to go ahead and say new. Um, hey, Robin, how are you? Good to see you again. I love Robin. She is awesomeness. And I see Almira is here. Good to see you as well. You are here because of today's topic. And I am really excited about today's topic because I am going to talk to you about the three reasons why your customer isn't paying you. And guess what? They have the money and they're not paying you for a reason. And we're going to dive into that because that's all what we want to know as entrepreneurs. But let me go ahead and say welcome to a few people. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Listen, if you guys are not following Sharon Jackson, she is amazing. She just was featured on the news and she has an awesome campaign highlighting black beautiful men i would have to say and all the awesome and amazing things that they're doing so if you're not following sharon washington she is a powerhouse and she needs to be you know top of mind for you because she has some great content and she's just a great person to be in connection with so cheers to sharon 800 come on yeah, listen we listen let's go for a thousand i love it yes thank you for being new i see that rokita is here hey girl hey glad that you are here but yes if you are, again, new to me, again, welcome. My name is Quinn Conyers, and I train Black women in business how to turn virtual conversations into cash so they can profit from public speaking on and offline. I personally believe that public speaking is the number one skill set that every entrepreneur needs to master in order to be successful, and that is why I am on a mission to make sure that Black women can leverage their voice in every aspect of their business. But I also believe that it's not just enough for me to tell you what I do. I also think it's important to show you what I do. So watch up. Yes. So again, that is me, Quinn Conyers. And I'm not going to wait, make you wait for too much longer because you're like, Quinn, I jumped on here because I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a speaker, and I definitely want to know why people, my customer, my client isn't paying me, right? So before I get into that, let me give you some voice of reason or clarity. I just hosted a two-day virtual event with entrepreneurs and speakers um, from all across the United States. And they tuned in and I had their time and attention. I made sure that I served them well. And one of the things that I talked about at Power at the Podium, which is my two-day event where I teach you how to have a power presentation so you can communicate to convert, is that there is an abundance of opportunity right now. I know that the world is not how we thought it would be at the top of the year, but there are still, still people out there who desperately need your products and your services. And you feeling like no one's going to invest at this time is the wrong mentality to have. You don't know who has the extra cash or who is willing to put your expertise on a credit card. So if you have something awesome and amazing, you being quiet and counting other people's pockets is not the way to go. You offer, and if they say yes, then you go with it. They say no, that's okay right now as well. But either way, I just want you to know that there are people out here who are definitely searching for you, needing you, Googling something similar to your service, and you want to make sure that you are showing up. But there is, just to be honest with you, some reasons why people are not paying you, and I want to dive into that. 
And just so you know, if you like what I'm saying today and you're like, oh yeah, I need to connect with Quinn, definitely connect with me. I'm going to actually give you a couple of different ways that you can not only learn why your customer is not paying you at the end of today. If you want to learn a little bit more about my services, I do have this awesome service called creating your verbal business card. And I'll talk about that and how you and I can work together after today's quarantine with Quinn. Okay. So let's get right into it. Yes. So I'm going to give you a three countdown. So I'm going to go three, two, and then one, right? As far as the third reason, the second reason, the first reason why, or the number one reason why people are not paying you, right? So the very, the third reason why people are not paying you is because, Jumro, please, you haven't defined them. You, you haven't defined them. I know you probably were looking for this big, grand, huge, I don't know, the skies part and all of this amazingness comes down, but you haven't defined them. I realized that on this journey of me super serving black women, that I can serve regular women entrepreneurs and I do, but what happens is people like to be chosen. And a lot of times people are not paying you because you haven't properly defined them. One of the biggest mistakes that I see that entrepreneurs and speakers make is they try to make their product, their service, their solution, their speech for everyone. And what happens is once they're not defined, you can't find them. So my whole thing is letting you know that you have to define them. You have to know who they are. What do they like? What do they don't like? And this is where I get into like the psychographics. It's not just about how much money they make and if they um, are college educated, it really is about what do they like? What turns them off? What are some of their um, values and morals? A lot of times when I work with my clients, I am not their first coach. They have worked with someone else before. I don't, I'm not the brand new, I have an idea. I work with the person who knows they have a great idea, but when it comes explaining or articulating their value to other people, they struggle or they have challenges. So you need to really define them. It's not enough to say, I work with entrepreneurs. I work with moms, right? So what kind of mom? There are moms who have newborns. Their mom who have kids that are in elementary school. There are moms who have kids who are in high school. There are some moms who my friend Shanir would say are adults, meaning that their kids are grown and out of the house. So when you talk about making sure that you find the customer or the client that will pay you, you have got to make sure that you have defined them because once you define him or her, and this is the person who you can transform their life, this is the person that if they work with you or give you their yes, that you can give them something new, something different, alleviate their pain. I tell people all the time, most of the time when you're working with someone, you are showing them how to either enter pleasure or exit pain. So you want to define them saying that it's a mom mom is not enough. Because in all honesty, if you are a black woman who is deathly afraid of public speaking, I am not the person for you. You are not my client. My client is the black woman who loves speaking. She enjoys speaking, but she's doing uh, maybe master classes. She's doing webinars or she's getting a whole bunch of speaking opportunities and requests, but she's not making money off of doing it. Okay. So again, clearly defined and definition doesn't come by just a race or just an age, it comes down to their psychographics. So one of the reasons why you're probably not getting paid from the person is because you hadn't clearly defined them. A lot of times when I talk to people, they feel like my avatar is them because I am that in tune with her. I know what makes her angry. I know what pisses her off. I know you know, that she's been coach hurt in the past, meaning she's invested in the coach. It didn't work out and she feel like she got got. <laughs> I know all of that about her. So I'm challenging you and I'm charging you to go a little bit deeper about finding who she is. This is not your simple, basic, you know, you thought a client avatar that you Googled online. It's about getting into the nitty gritty of what she wants to do, what she wants to accomplish. Like, what is she afraid of? What is he afraid of? What is, what, what makes, what pisses them off? For example, my client is very annoyed by meaningless conversation. If we're going to talk on the phone, it got to be of substance. She don't have time to shoot the breeze. She just wants to get right to it, right? My client is getting older and she's trying to figure out what she's doing in business or as an entrepreneur, right? So you need to be crystal clear on who that person is. And that's the reason why probably you're not advancing and growing in your business or in your speaking career is because you haven't properly defined them. 
Okay. You need to know that. Thank you, Robin. See, look, I love Robin. Robin's my favorite. Robin says you have not clearly defined your client. Yes. And that's the reason why you're not getting paid. To be honest with you, when your client hears what you do, they should be like, oh my God, where have you been all of my life? You are talking to me. When your client hears what you do, they should immediately self-identify and raise their hand and say, oh my gosh, that is me. Okay. How did you know that? That's how in tune you should be. And again, once you define him or her, the easier it is to find them because you can know what Facebook groups are they on. Are they even on Facebook? Your client might not be on Facebook. Your client might be on Instagram and you're sitting here stressing yourself out trying to do a Facebook group. So that's how you need to know. My client, for the most part, is on Facebook and LinkedIn. She might dibble or dabble on Instagram just for leisure. But for business, she's in a Facebook group or she's on LinkedIn. So you need to know that. What is her social media preference of choice? What is she using regularly? That's the kind of stuff that you need to know. OK, so um, I hear that's good. Robin says people like to be chosen. Shannon's like, yes, people like to be chosen. OK, so that was number three. OK, number two. Right. You see my cards. Like, this is my little note cards. Right. I, I'm, I'm practicing for my my show because mark your word. I, I'm going to have my own show on a national network or on a national platform. So make sure you you notice that I said that. Right. So number two is they don't know you exist. I'm going to let that marinate for a second. They don't know that you exist. The reason why you're not getting paid is because you are not visible. They don't know that you're out there. They don't know that you're the solution to their issue. Okay. They have no clue that you have a, a Instagram, a Facebook or a LinkedIn profile. They have no, hey, Kara, yes, speaking into existence, I will do that. They have no clue that you exist. And if you are just joining me, I am sharing with you three reasons why your customer or client isn't paying you, okay? Three reasons why they're not paying you. I already gave you number three. Number two is they don't know you exist, okay? One of the biggest downfalls, well, the no, okay, so I'm going to give you two quick things, right? There are a few reasons why black women in business fail. The first, the number one reason is lack of capital. You just don't have the money to grow in advance. Number two is marketing. We are trying to do this on a shoestring budget. So we are relying on word of mouth with F, M-O-U-F, word of mouth to get us. We don't have proper systems in place to market and promote our business. So a lot of times we're failing, not because our product, our servants isn't good enough. We're failing because people don't know we're existing, right? So before, see, here's the good news. The good news is we literally have access to millions of people in the palm of our hands. Before, if you wanted to reach your customer, you had to do mail, you had to do television, you had to do radio. Those were the traditional marketing channels. Now you can run some Facebook ads. Now you can have a YouTube channel. You can have a podcast. You can go live on Facebook. You can go live on Instagram. So my question to you is, does your client know that you exist? Are you consistent with letting them know that you are a viable option? I was telling one of my clients a long time ago, at the end of the day, everything that we do, there's nothing new under sun. People just want a different flavor. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to paint it another color. You have to bling it out, make it pink, put polka dots on it, right? Because people just want a variation of what's already out there. So it's not like, oh my gosh, am I going into, there's no room for me. Is it oversaturated? No, there is a room for you. If there, if, it, if there's over, I don't believe in oversaturation because what is for you is for you. If there's a lot of people already doing it, that's good. That means there's a market for it. All you got to do is come in with your different spin, your twist, your flavor, right? But they're not going to know that unless you are existing. So you have to know and be visible, what I call, especially now in these virtual streets, we can't go out and, you know, handshake and high five and kiss babies anymore. So virtually you have got to be visible. What does that mean? How do you be virtual? Doing lives, pre-recorded videos, posting content, sharing your success stories with clients who have already worked with you, having a social and, and online presence. Do you have a website that people can go to and learn more about what you do? Okay. All this stuff matters. So the reason why people are not paying you is because you haven't been consistently showing up for them. 
Okay. And I know sometimes it's hard. I have a three and a four year old, both a three and a four year old. Okay. And every Wednesday at four o'clock, I get on here and make sure that I show up for you because I know that consistency is everything. And I know in order for me to run a business, you have to know I exist. You have to know that I can remove your discount dialect and add luxury language so every time you open your mouth, you can attract customers and clients. You need to know that if you're a person who has been doing webinars and doing podcast interviews and speaking on panels and doing workshops and nobody is buying your product or your service, that I'm the one that can show you how to communicate to convert. I'm the one who can show you how to present to persuade so you can get paid, right? I'm that person. But if I'm not showing up and you don't know that, you're just going to Google and whoever you Google, or whoever you YouTube and whoever comes up, that's who you're going to follow. That's who you're going to pick. It's that simple. So as an entrepreneur and as a speaker, you have to make sure that you are visible in these virtual streets. People need to know that you exist, Almira. People need to know that you exist, Keisha. People need to know that you exist, Robin. They need to know that your service are out there and you are ready to go. So I see it all the time. It's like, you know, oh my gosh, people are not buying from me. People are not buying from me. And I'm like, okay, well, let me see why I go. Here's a question for you, right? No shade. Thank you, cousin. <laughs> this is no shade, right? <clears throat> are you Googleable? Are you Googleable? If somebody goes in and right now, don't do it now, but if you want to, right? Go to google.com and put your name in. What comes up? That's how it happens. Or better or worse, people might not know your name, but they might want to know your topic. So if you go in and put public speaking coaches or speaker, you know, whatever, you want to make sure that you're coming up. OK, so visibility is the name of the game and consistent visibility leads to cash. I always say conversations lead to cash, but visibility needs to cash. The reason why you and I are connected, Dawn, is because you probably saw me somewhere and you started following me. Thank you. <laughs> Keisha said, wow, teach us. Yes. Amara says, good points. Yes, absolutely. Robin says, your client doesn't know you exist. Exactly. So meanwhile, we frustrated. We mad, my market, they ain't got the money to pay me, but you know, I'm gonna challenge you a little bit, but do they know you? Do you exist? You are too brilliant. You are too amazing. You know way too much to be the best kept secret. Like that's not what we do. We don't need to be the best kept secret. We need the world to know what we do. Your brilliance needs to be broadcasted right? Your amazingness needs to be articulated. Your value needs to be verbalized. You, people need to know who you are, point blank, period. People are making money because they are showing up and they're visible. And here's a secret. They're not even half as good as you, not even half as good as you, right? You are 10 times better than them, but you are not marketing yourself because you don't want to feel like you're tooting your own horn or you don't want to feel like you're doing too much or you want to play it safe. Give me the goddamn horn. I'll toot your horn for you. Okay. Because I know that you are great. I know that you're amazing. I know that if somebody works with you, they're going to have a transformational experience. Okay. I know that. So Monira, part of it is making sure do other people know how great you are. Okay. Do other people know how great you are? Hey, OK, do people know this about you? OK, so Tanisha, Tar Tarisha says, who knows that you exist? You can't expect people to show up for you when they don't show up for you. Exactly. So part of that is utilizing your social media platforms. Stop saying, yeah, I'm going to start going live. I'm going to start going live. You know what? I'm going to start posting video. I'm going to start going on YouTube. Girl, if you don't pick a date and start going, all right, every Monday at one o'clock. I don't care. It don't matter. Just get started. I want your progress over your perfection. Okay. You want the website to be just right. You want the video to look just, listen, if you don't get on there and just start recording and go from there, <laughs> like the lights ain't got to be perfect. I worked up for this. I did the math yesterday. Can I be transparent? If I could be transparent, I want y'all to put, please, please be, please be transparent. I'm going to be very transparent with you, right? I'm going to be very transparent with you. If I can be transparent, please write if I can be transparent in the comments, because I just want to know if I can, you know, this is on my heart, right? I was doing a workshop and, you know, coaching and teaching and things like that, right? And I did the math. So I've done a couple of different things, but being a speaker has all, <laughs> thank you, has always been what I want to do, right? And I did the math 
Hey, L'Oreal. Hey, girl. Hey, listen, y'all need some masks? Make sure that you holler at L'Oreal. She got some really, really cute ones, right? So, yes, I'm about to be transparent. I did the math. I've been speaking off and on. I've been like in this love affair with speaking from 2007 to 2018. My business as a speaker did not truly kick off until 2018. That's 12 years, y'all. 12 years. So I tell people all the time, I am in a harvest season, yes, but you can't judge my breakthrough if you've never known about my been through. 12 years, 12 years, I've been trying to figure this thing out. 12 years, I was doing workshops, begging, wishing and praying somebody would pay me $97. So I'm telling you that to say that this is not no overnight success type of thing. You got to show up consistently. And part of me not working well in those 12 years is because I wasn't. I was trying something. I got mad because I felt like the clients didn't you know, know my value. And then I stopped. So all of that is a part of it, right? So what you have to understand is people need to know that you exist. People need to know that your products and your services are available. It takes 10 years of hard work to come into success. I saw that as a quote. Mine took 12. 12. That's a whole, that's a, that's a halfway teenager of, of a professional development walking around, right? 12, you know? So I tell people that because it's like you, 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 we are tricked by this microwave society. Like it doesn't work like that. We want the Thanksgiving meal, but we want, we want it in microwavable time. It doesn't work like that. So what you have to understand as an entrepreneur, as a business owner is do people know you exist? And you don't have to be on every single social media platform. And that's one thing that people lie. You got to be on Facebook. You got to be on TikTok. You got to be on Instagram. You got to be on Twitter. Listen, if you don't check Twitter, you don't use Twitter, forget Twitter. Okay. Use the platforms that you use often and just go dominant and be visible on those. Okay. So I'm just curious, which platform are you committed to being visible on? Go ahead and drop it in the comments. Which platform are you committed to being visible on. Hey D, good to see you. He just says, um, people need to know that you exist. So I want to know, are you going to be um, on Facebook, LinkedIn? Just pick one. I'm only asking for one. Which platform are you going to be visible on? How can people hear your voice, smell your voice, taste your voice, experience your awesome and amazingness? I want to know. Okay, we have Instagram and Facebook. Perfect. Two of them. Facebook for me. Okay, so the, for the Facebook users, you got to click on so I can see exactly who that is. Keisha says Instagram and Facebook. Perfect. Now, that's what I want you to do. And don't worry about everything else. Don't worry. Teresha says um, Facebook. Don't worry about every other platform. You go hard with that one platform. Okay. That's what you need to do. D says Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, we have a Instagram. We have Facebook and LinkedIn. Love it. Miss uh, Wade says Facebook. Love it. Rokita says Facebook and Instagram. That's where my people are. Yeah, that's where you want to go, where the people are. Facebook and LinkedIn. My avatar is the older woman. Perfect. So you guys are already on the right track. So I love that. So if you're just joining me again for the very first time, my name is Quinn Conyers and I train black women in business how to turn virtual conversations into cash so that you can profit from public speaking on and offline. I personally believe that public speaking is the number one skill set as an entrepreneur you need to master if you want to make money. And it's my job and my mission to make sure that you can verbalize your value. And that's how I can serve you. So I already gave you three. I gave you two. I'm going to give you the number one reason people are not paying you. And here is the hardest part that you're going to have to know. This might hurt you. It's my, you might have to clutch your imaginary pearls. They have the money. You understand? They have the money. So it's not like, oh my gosh, every now and then they might not have the money or they might be caught up in another coaching program. That's okay. I'm talking about your client who has the money to pay you. Okay. So here it is. Drum roll. Doo -doo 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 -doo, drum roll. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. That's my drum roll. Don't, don't, don't knock my drum roll. That's my drum roll. Right. So the number one reason why people are not paying you for your products, your services, or your coaching program is because you have not verbalized your value. Quinn, what does that mean? So if you are already a client of mine, you know exactly where I'm about to go with this, right? You, and even if you are a client of mine, I still want you to pay attention, right? 
You haven't verbalized your value, meaning when people encounter you, you're not even telling them what you do, let alone using the right language to do it, right? So if people come to you and say, what do you do? You say, I'm a coach. Well, what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. Well, what do you do? And you're just using these boring and basic generic terms that is causing them to overlook you and they don't even know the full the full facet of what you do. So part of the reason why they're not paying you is because you are answering them with a title or a boring or basic business pitch. And what you need to understand, Robin, thank you so much, you have not verbalized your value. When people ask you, what do you do? Or you sharing with the world what you do? Because sometimes, especially in these social media streets, people are not saying, what do you do? You have to tell people what you do. So you're not even intentional right? You're just going on and talking. People don't even know who you are, what you're talking about. You need to tell people over and over again who you are and what you do in a way that is clear, concise, and compelling. Stop just saying that you a hairstylist. Girl, with them scissors in your hand with that color, you are more than a hairstylist. And people are like, oh, well, I have a hairstylist, so I don't need you. But you might be a hairstylist that specializes in growing hair back. You might be a hairstylist that specializes in cuts and color. Shoot, you might be a hairstylist that, you know, gets edges to come back and you know how black women feel about their edges so you need to be able to articulate that you are out here going around as a generalist knowing that you are a specialist and you have a specialty that you are amazing at hey girl hey love it love it love it keisha says yes this is so good <laughs> So that's what I want you to understand. And if you are currently answering that question, what do you do? And you know that it's not quite what you do. You can feel it. Listen, we are very, you know, emotional people. We know when it doesn't feel right. We can meet somebody like, mm -mm, ain't something right about her. Ain't something right about him, right? So when you know for a fact that you're telling people what you do or you're sharing what you do and it doesn't feel right, you and I probably need to have a conversation. We need to talk to, we, we need to talk about making sure you have a verbal business card and not just a business pitch. So a verbal business card is a clear, concise, and compelling way to answer the question, what do you do? Now, for my current clients who have a verbal business card, use it. Like you've invested. You knew that you had a basic elevator pitch, right? And now <laughs> you know that you have a verbal business card. You'll be surprised how many people I see that have worked with me and I'll like pop it on their live and they ain't using a verbal business card. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You have to use your verbal business card. When you open your mouth, that is a marketing tool. Your mouth should make you money. When you speak, you should be attracting customers and clients and not repelling them. You should be using words and language that speak to the greatness of the products and services that you offer. You shouldn't be using weak words and language that diminish and disrespect your business. That's why nobody is paying you, okay? So- Robin, who's here that you that you're so excited? Robin says, so glad that you're here. I hear, yes, I heard that. <laughs> Tiffany says, I have a lot that I do and I need to give it some clarity. Absolutely. So if you know that your conversations need some clarity, if you know your mouth should make <laughs> Keisha said your mouth should make you money. Yes, you are the spokesperson for your business, your book, or your brand. A lot of times I see people spending money on things that are what I call needed. And then they actually forget the things that are necessary. So you will get a website, you will get branding, you'll do a photo shoot, you'll get your look, look, you'll get your, your your cute little business cards. Look, I got a business card. You'll get your cute little business card, right? And then when people say, What do you do? You still have a tough time answering the question. A very tough time answering the question, right? So you want to be mindful of that. So Rokita says, I use my verbal business card all the time. I see the nodding heads and <laughs> glint in the eye when I say it. Exactly. And Rokita is amazing. So you want to make sure that you don't just, that's my co-host, my son. You know, he, he makes his pop-ins. Um, okay, put this back on. What the? Okay, so sidebar, right? This is babies in my business. My son has headphones on. And Biggie is playing. That's his father. See, this is the same stuff I'm talking about. See, he would have Sesame Street on or Jesus Loves the Little Children. He got Biggie in his ears. What? what? This is why these kids got to go back to school. Okay? They got to go back to school. Biggie, I'm like, what? I ain't had time. Hopefully, that's the edited version. Hopefully, that is the edited version. So, hold on. Oh, got you. That's your business, bestie. She says, I feel awkward. I, can, I got you, Miss Nelson. I got you. You are in the comfort of great people. So, 
You feel awkward because I know as black women, we have been silenced. Our voice hasn't always been valued in the workplace. So when it's time to what I call broadcast our billions or it's time to tell people what we do, we kind of shrink. So you have to make sure that if you want to be in business, it's all about money and money co comes with conversations and transactions. So if that is something that you're nervous about, you want to work with someone like me so I can show you how to verbalize your value. And if that is you and you know for a fact, all you got to do is just send me a message right here on Facebook. DM me and say, Quinn, um, we should chat. And I know exactly what that means. That's all I need you to do. So if you're one of those people who you're like, I know the reason why I'm not making money is because I'm not really telling people what I do properly, then that's what we not you and I need to talk about. For all of you who are my current clients and you already have your verbal business card, please be like Rokita and use it. I've heard Rokita use her verbal business card. And it was like one of those tears just went down. I was so proud of her. I was like, yes, I love it. Because again, you're, you are the spokesperson for your business or your brand. And you want to make sure within <laughs> babies in my, Robin, listen, I know your kids are left the nest, but anytime you get an itch for a three or four year old, you are more than welcome to come to Baltimore, get on a plane from Florida, come to Baltimore. You, you can take care of mine because these kids be babies in business. Like, with Biggie in his ears. Like, what is going on? Like, I don't even understand. Like, what's going on? Why are you listening to Biggie? Okay. Hopefully, again, it was the clean version. But again, for all of you who are just joining me again, I'm so excited that you are here. I am going over the three reasons why your customer isn't paying you. And I want to make sure that that's not happening because guess what? You can earn revenue during the Rona. Yes, I said it. People's bank account are not stopped. People's bank accounts are not frozen and they need you in your life to grow in advance. So I wanted to give you three tips on why you're not making any money. And it's not because your client doesn't have it or your customer is being cheap. It might be one of these three reasons. So I'm going to recap really quickly. Number three, the reason why your customer isn't paying you is you haven't defined them. You out here trying to serve everybody named mama, but the mama is the one who really needs you. Stop trying to serve everybody. Okay. You heard me, everybody, right? So that's number three is you haven't properly defined them. Number two is they don't know you exist. So you are not being visible, meaning you're not letting people know. No one's going to walk up to you and say, hey, what do you do? We can't do that anymore. So every time you turn on your video and go live or do some pre-recorded or do content, it should be targeting the person that you want to serve. So a lot of times they're not doing business with you because they don't know you exist. So you have to make a point to be visible during this whole virtual thing, you have to be visible. What are you posting on Facebook? What are you posting on LinkedIn? Are you using video features? You have access to millions of people in minutes. You literally have the world at the palm of your hands. Do not be posting videos of what you ate last night. You post videos of your content to attract the people that you can serve, okay? And number one, the number one reason why people are not investing in you or your run one reason why your customers and clients are not paying you is because you haven't verbalized your value. You are not articulating your awesomeness. You are answering the question what you do with a title and you need to be answering the question with your value. If someone says yes to you, if someone hires you, what is the value that you provide? What is the transformation that you provide? So if somebody works with me, I'm going to teach them how to answer the question, what do you do correctly? I'm going to transform them from a public speaker to a power presenter so they can get paid. Okay. I'm going to show someone if they say yes to me, how to maximize and monetize all speaking opportunities. You need to know how to verbalize your value up front. No guessing. No, well, I wonder if I say yes, what do I really get? If that is what people are doing with you, then you're not going to get it. Yes, Stacy, absolutely. You have got to articulate your awesomeness. And I know you, Stacy. I've seen you doing big things. And you need to make sure that people know that you do big things as well. Okay? I am not, I'm not, titles turn me off. Exactly. Don't you hate that? People are like, what do you do? Well, I'm the CEO of da 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 and we da 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 And I'm like, okay, but you say you're the CEO and you're saying we, but you're a one-man band. It's okay to be a one-man band. Don't make it seem like you've got an army behind you and it's just you, okay? So you really want to make sure that when you are going after clients, attracting customers, that you understand that 
not getting frustrated at just them for not investing, but really looking at those three things that I just mentioned and making sure that you are checking the box as an entrepreneur, as a speaker, so you can articulate that. And Stacey can say, yes, I have to get better. Well, Stacey, you know, that's my specialty. So if you want to talk about how you and I can create your verbal business card, send me a message and say BBC, and I will know the contact you and we could talk about that. So I am good. And I am great now that I told you that because I don't want you out here suffering in silence. I don't want you about to throw in the towel because of, you know, thinking that people don't want to buy because it's the coronavirus. I don't want you quitting your business or your dreams because you are convinced that nobody has the money to pay you. They have it. Look at yourself. Ask yourself those three hard questions. Number one, have I clearly defined my client? Number two, do they know that I exist? And number one, when I meet them, am I articulating my awesomeness? Those are the three questions that I have for you. And if you can't answer them, you and I need to have a conversation. So all you got to do is send me a message and just say, hey, Quinn, you can DM me, say BBC or let's chat. And I know exactly what that would mean. So. Again, my name is Quinn Conyers and I, you know, train black women in business how to turn virtual conversations into cash so they can profit from public speaking. But I also believe that it's not just enough for me to tell you what I do. I always think it's important to show you what I do. So watch this quick video. I love how you put these in practice. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you so much. Miss Gash, one of my newest clients. Love her to life. Thank you so much. Robin, I appreciate you keeping up in the comments. Yes, verbal business card is what you need to have. So again, I appreciate you. I am here every Wednesday at four o'clock with Quarantine with Quinn. My goal, my mission is to give you tips and tools and resources on how you can be more visible as an entrepreneur so you can profit from public speaking on and <laughs> offline. Stacey says, oh, message sent. Stacey says, yes, come through video. Listen, I got to grab your attention. See, what is that though, Stacey? That is visibility is ability at its finest. So one of the things that I pride myself on is everything that I teach the people that I serve, I do myself. So I'm not going to tell you to be visible and then I'm not visible. I'm not going to tell you that when you're speaking to grab people's attention by doing certain things or using props and me not do it myself. So I'm not going to just tell you what I do. I'm going to show you how I show up and serve. So one of the biggest things I learned from my pastor is some things can be, you know, of course taught and some things can be caught. So if you are watching certain people and you notice they're going live every week, you know, you might want to incorporate the same thing. So again, it's been my honor. It's been my pleasure. I would join you or see you next week with Quarantine with Quinn, where I again will give you information on either how you can turn conversations into cash or how you can profit from public speaking. Because my our overall mission is to make sure that black women in business are using their voice in every aspect of their business and that making sure that you can maximize and monetize all speaking opportunities. That is my specialty. So until next week, you have an awesome and amazing day. And remember to speak up for your business. Talk to you soon.